been a year unlike any other in terms of how the, the tour has been affected and golf internationally has been affected by, by the pandemic. So when the LET came to us and, and offered us the opportunity to, to host another event within this bio bubble that we've already created for the first, the first week, Golf Saudi were, were really, really open to that and really supportive of that, which gave us the opportunity to, to do something a little bit different. We already have a million dollar prize fund for an individual four round stroke play event in week one. What Golf Saudi really wanted to do was to be really innovative, try and do something that's never been done before, create a unique format and give the girls a little bit of a different dynamic within that second week. The draft was how we selected the teams. We selected 36 team captains, so that was 26 from the, the rankings and then 10 invites. And we went through two rounds, so we had the first round was entirely at the captain's discretion. They were picked in random order of what selection they would pick and they could pick whoever they wanted. We think there's some great storylines to tell, whether that's friendship, form, um, their roommate. Well, it's a slightly different tactic. It's going to be warm out there, so I've chosen the shortest player in the field, someone to lean on. I think it's going to be helpful, so I'll go with uh, Lydia Hall. She's a good height. It's kind of like going to be like that. What, what we saw with that was a lot of the girls wanted to, to pick their, their fellow countrywomen. So there's, we've got a couple of you know, all Spanish teams or all Finnish teams, Spanish teams, which I think will create some great dynamic. The second round was completely at random, so we had His Excellency Yazir Al Rumian, who is the chairman of Golf Saudi, selecting the team names, and we had Alex Armas, the chief exec of the LET, selecting the players' names, and that filled out the three the three players in each each team. I've been since since I played the the Queens before um, I didn't play at all in another team, so I love to play in team competition. So I'm looking forward to it. Well, no, we'll just have fun. I mean, you know, we've got uh, hopefully a good team that can do well in it. But more, more than anything, let's just hope we have a bit of fun out there, urge each other on. I mean, what you want is your team to finish first, second and third, but you want to finish first. So there's a good team spirit, but also a little bit of rivalry too, which isn't a bad thing. I've written down a lot. A lot of mine were, were picked, obviously, early. Um, but Michelle was actually one of my top picks. She's She's a really sweet girl, um, Mikey McCaddy is Scottish and he was like, if you can pick a Scottish one, you, we'll get that. So I was like, all right, I'll go with her. Um, and then she's super nice and I was like, you want to be with someone that's a nice person as well. Not that the others aren't, but, sure. but she's a cool girl. I'm really happy with my pick. Chloe was obviously a very close second who I was going to pick anyway. Um, we played a lot of team golf together as amateurs, so I'm really excited for next week. So we've got four players in each team three LET pros and one amateur and in each hole we'll take the two best scores from the four that will count towards the team the team score. Running alongside that we also have an individual so the pros will need to complete every hole and keep their individual score um, and then that'll just be added up as it normally is in stroke play, the lowest score after 54 hole wins. We have a lot of team events in the Ryder Cup and the Solheim Cup but within the, the normal tour schedules and the, the regular tour sanctioned events there's not really anything like this. I think the feedback that we've had from the players this week has been really, really positive. They've really warmed it. They, they love the fact that they're playing with their friends for a big prize fund. Um, so yeah, long may this continue. I think it could be a really exciting addition to the schedule.